What happened before the creation of the world? What existed before the creation of the world? These are questions that many people ask and few know the answers to. However, the answer is not so simple. Let's embark on a fascinating journey into the unknown, where chapters of the Bible are written in tones of mystery and revelation before the universe took shape. Stay tuned till the end of the video for complete information. Let's move on to the video. Friends, there are many such secrets in the Bible which Jesus Christ revealed to his disciples regarding before the creation of the world. But today I am going to tell you about the mystery told in the book of John, which is very amazing. Within the book of John, there are a description of the high priestly prayer of Jesus Christ, in which Jesus Christ himself revealed the mystery that he existed even before the creation of the world. It is written in John chapter 17 verse 4 and 5 I have glorified thee on the earth, I have finished the work which you gave me to do, and now, O Father, glorify me with thine own self, with the glory which I had with thee before the world was. Here we see that Jesus Christ says in prayer, O Father, glorify me with thine own self, with the glory which I had with thee before the world was. Through this, Jesus Christ wanted to convey that he existed even before the creation of the world, but he was in the glory which was that of the Father. The book of Genesis describes the origin of many things, including the creation of humans and other living creatures. But it is clear that God did not come into being, but he existed since the universe was created, before our universe existed. And the Bible teaches that God is the first, and he is the last. There was nothing before that, and nothing will happen after that. This clearly means that he created everything. Another important thing is that he was not alone in the book of Genesis, or before or after the creation of the world. In fact, someone was present with him also. Let us understand how. See, often in our language we use singular and plural to differentiate between one person and more than one person. Now you must be wondering why I am telling all this. You will get the answer to this also later. At one place in the Bible, God said in Genesis 11 verse 7, Go to, let us go down, and they have found their language, that they may not understand one another's speech. Here you can see that God used the word let us, which is a plural word. This clearly means that God was not alone. In fact, there was someone with him also. And if we compare the words of the Old Testament book of the Bible with the words of Jesus in the New Testament, then God and Jesus Christ also appear to be similar. And Jesus Christ is the one who existed with God and will exist for all eternity. One thing we should pay attention to in John chapter 17 is that Jesus Christ talks about glory again and again. Jesus Christ says, Father, the hour has come, glorify your Son, so that the Son may also glorify you. Jesus Christ said this because the time of his glory had not yet come. So before he prayed for his disciples, he prayed for himself. Jesus Christ glorified the Father through his faith, obedience and work during his ministry, traveling from place to place preaching, healing the sick, teaching the disciples. Jesus Christ glorified the Father in all this. And after all this, Jesus asked the Father to glorify him, but with the same glory as the Father himself, and which was also with Jesus Christ before the creation of the world. Jesus was well aware of his previous existence and coming into the world by being born in human form. He knew that there was a time in eternity when God the Father and God the Son were one in glory. If Jesus himself were not like Jehovah or God, he could not have prayed this prayer so intelligently. The Bible tells us, Isaiah chapter 42 verse 8, I am the Lord, that is my name, and my glory will I not give to another, neither my praise to graven images. Here we see that Jehovah God himself has said this, that I will not give my glory to anyone else, but according to the Bible and the prayer of Jesus, 
It is clear that God gave his glory to his son, Jesus Christ, which proves that Jesus Christ and God the Father are one and the same, who existed before the creation of the world. John further tells us that Jesus Christ did not pray only for himself. Rather, he also prayed for us believers. It is written in John chapter 17 verse 24, Father, I will that they also, whom you have given me, be with me where I am, that they may behold my glory, which you have given me, for you loved me before the foundation of the world. Friends, we believers should know whatever we are, or want to become in our spiritual life. We are all indebted to the borrower who gave himself for us, who prayed for us, that we might be united with him. In Revelation, the last book of the Bible, we see Jesus Christ once again in all his glory. What John saw in his vision, he wrote in the book of Revelation chapter 1 verse 12 and 13. And I turned to see the voice that spoke with me. And being turned, I saw seven golden candlesticks. And in the midst of the seven candlesticks, one like unto the Son of Man, clothed with a garment down to the foot, and girt about the paps with a golden girdle. It was here that John saw the Son of Man, the equal to the Apostles Jesus Christ in his glory. The loud sound he heard is described as distinct and impressive, like the sound of a trumpet. Jesus Christ revealed his identity in this way, that I am the first and the last. And we should know that first and last is the title that is given to Jehovah, the God of Israel, many times in the Bible. John goes on to say that he saw the Son of Man, that his head and hair were white, like theirs, and his eyes were like a flame of fire. Daniel also saw the same thing in his vision, which we can read in Daniel chapter 10 verse 6. His body also was like the beryl, and his face as the appearance of lightning, and his eyes as lamps of fire, and his arms and his feet like in color to polished brass, and the voice of his words like the voice of his words like the voice of a multitude. John further describes his face, saying that his face shone like the flame of the sun, and a sharp two-edged sword came out of his mouth. When John saw all this, he fell at the feet of Jesus like a dead man, even though John had been in service with Jesus for many years, and he also knew Jesus Christ very well. But here's what he saw in the vision. It was very amazing. John must have realized that Jesus Christ had come to earth, leaving behind his divine power and glory. But now that he is in all his glory, it is very difficult to even look at him. Jesus told John that, I am he that lived and was dead, and behold, I am alive forevermore. Amen. Jesus Christ wanted to show that he rose from the dead and will now live forever because he has the keys to death and the underworld. He existed before the creation of the world and will remain so for eternity, even after its end. I hope you have learned something from today's video. Like the video. Please tell us your thoughts by commenting. And don't forget to subscribe the channel. We will meet again in the next video.